Connecting a new RCN2 or RCN3 controller to your DJI drone for the first time can be tricky. These are the DJI controllers that use your phone for display instead of a built-in screen. Probably the worst thing is going through the setup process and finding that the controller refuses to connect to your drone no matter what. So what's going on? Well, it's not as complicated as it might seem at first. Don't give up hope. In most cases, the fix is super easy, even though it might not be obvious. As you know, the controller needs to connect to your phone to work, so the controller has a phone holder that connects to either a lightning cable or to a USB-C cable, depending on your phone's configuration. If you have an iPhone with a lightning cable, you probably aren't having any issues. You simply plug in the lightning connector and you're good to go. But problems arise for those of us with an Android or an iPhone that use USB-C. When you plug the USB-C cord in, nothing happens. Why is that? Well, the cord that comes pre-attached to your controller needs to be plugged into the USB-C port of the controller on one side and into the phone on the other. So when a lightning cord is plugged into a phone, everything works perfectly. But when your USB-C iPhone or Android is plugged into the USB-C tip on the cord that comes with the controller, it doesn't work. That's because the lightning connector isn't plugged into anything at all on the other side. When you look closely, you'll see that it's just a blank plastic receptacle. So go back to the accessories that came in your box and grab the dual USB-C cord and then plug one end into the port on your right and the other end into your phone. Now that you've physically connected the phone to the controller, set up as a breeze. Did this fix your connection issues? Let us know in the comments below. And if it did, the best way to thank me is to comment, like, or subscribe. Thanks for watching.